so we are back with uh, discussion on a very important and aspect and topic and that is back pressure valve oh it's a very important component in the refrigeration system apart from this we are not discussing it because it's an important component in the refrigeration system but we are discussing it because often it is uh, it is being asked by the surveyor in exams the function of a back pressure valve so first of all uh, let's take a look at the position you see here it's a block diagram of a refrigeration system so basically we are dealing with two rooms that is meat room and veg room okay we also have fish room sometime but here we are discussing with only two rooms so it's a multi room system so first of all that is a key point that it is only available in a multi room system so here in block diagram you can clearly see the condenser compressor the evaporator okay and then there you see uh, the wedge room there here you find the back pressure valve okay so these are evaporator coils of meat room and wedge room okay we have also have expansion valve so after looking at the position let's take a look at the function of a valve it is fitted just at the exit of your operator okay so you see here this is the operator and there you this is the operator of wedge room and then you find here because since it's a block diagram so i have shown it here in blocks so here you see the back pressure valve now it is a spring loaded nrv non nrv means non return valve set at compartment where temperature is set little higher in a multi room system so it is available in a multi room system meat room fish room veg room and it is set at compartment where temperature is set little higher so tem temperature is set higher in wedge room as compared to meat room so it will be present outside the wedge room fitted outside wedge room compartment maintain equilibrium of the system as the pressure at the exit of each compartment differs now the pressure at the exit of each compartment will differ now you can imagine we have a common refrigeration system and this is maintaining a temperature which is very adverse in meat room okay wherein we have minus 18 to minus 15 degrees celsius and there you find in wedge room which is always maintained at 2 to 5 degrees celsius so you can see the drastic difference so how it will be maintained okay so obviously so we have to have some system and the flow of refrigerant will also be there more so maintain it so we need to have a maintain or uh, maintain equilibrium because it's, the refrigerant is flowing from the same common line so to maintain the equilibrium of the system as the pressure at the exit of each compartment differs so you know the reason why the pressure differs pressure at the exit of meat room is more so it should not enter wedge room so pressure obviously at the exit of meat room will be more so it should not be entering the wedge room that is the reason why we have this back pressure valve which is fitted so basic compartment that the refrigerant Uh, should not enter from the meat room to the wedge room so it is a spring it is at the exit of evaporator if we talk about the location which is at a higher temperature it must be present there wedge room compartment may fit in it is to maintain the equilibrium because pressure at the exit of each compartment is different pressure at the exit of room is uh, meat room is more so it should not enter the wedge room so that is the reason why we have in the so if you look at the diagram over here it's a complete block diagram with electrical lines as well okay so here you can see the compressor so we have solenoid different solenoid we also have master solenoid here you see the compressor and loader we have oil separator then you go about low pressure lp and hp switches are there okay so then you see here what is known as condenser with fan and we have oil separator as well receiver filter dryer you see here we have side glass to look at here 
and defrost on the electrical aspect then you go to the the evaporator there you have the fan okay so we have thermostat the ev valves that is fitted also that is also fitted at the entry of the evaporator okay now these are sensing bulb that is placed this is freezer room okay now you see here capillary tube from tev so in basically you can see the sensing bulb that will allow and control amount of refrigerant flowing inside the room okay now here you see this is wedge room and then at the exit of wedge room you see here back pressure valve so it's a this indication so that it's an rv and this indication that shows that it's a spring valve okay so it's exit of operator so this is a complete block diagram one more diagram is not clear from here one more block diagram i can show you this here see here compressor with lp and hp cutouts then you have oil separator then we have condenser with fans you have seen at the top so we have meat room and wedge room okay with expansion valve and solenoids okay then we have here this is connected as i shown you in the diagram this is sensing bulb okay which is controlling the tv now here you have back pressure valve which is not present in case of meat room because here pressure will obviously be more here pressure would be less because it is set at a higher temperature as compared to meat room it's if minus 15 this is plus 5 so there is a gross difference so here you have uh, this back pressure valve so this diagram is very important uh, often surveyor may ask you to draw this diagram but in if in more clarity and more detailed explanation though this is i think sufficient so thank you so much thank you for your valuable time all the best please share us your valuable feedback so that we can improve even if you want some suggestions if you have some suggestions and you want some topics to be covered please do comment